Hi, this is for Virgo. Virgo, this is your April 2019. Sorry I took so long to get it for you. Um, Virgo, Virgos are waiting for something to change. Virgos are waiting for something to come directly to them. They're, they're, it feels like you guys are anticipating um, either something to happen or you're anticipating um, better things because uh, Virgos are pretty much out on a limb right now, reaching, reaching and reaching, trying to get to the other side, whatever that means for you. So for Virgos, hopefully I'm not covering the microphone. For Virgos, that means that, you know, you're, you're trying to uh, find something new. You're trying to start something new. Um, also, for some Virgos, you're, you're, not, you're not able to let go of the past. I don't know what's going on with you guys where, you know, you're feeling that the last person that you were with is all there's ever going to be. Um, some of you are kind of freaking out where, you know, you're determined or, or your mindset is, I have to have that person. I need to be with that person. That's where I'm supposed to be. Uh, that's who I'm supposed to be with. You know, don't be so sure, Virgo. Don't be so sure. It is not a guarantee that that is who you're supposed to be with. A lot of you, here's your card, a lot of you had this tower moment or because this card is still upright, some of you Virgos could be going through still a tower moment, so to speak. Uh, the rippling effect is still there. Um, I do feel like for Virgos, you know, the this, this start and finish is quite different. This, the way it started and the way it ended is almost like there's been two, two different people here. The opportunity for you to expand yourself on a new horizon is very strong. But you have to be willing to step out of your comfort zone and get to that next level. I do feel like there is going to be offers coming for Virgos. And because of that uh, thought comes with the Ace of Swords. So with the Ace of Swords, you know that shows us new beginnings, a new opportunity, uh, a blessing that is going to be you know, sent down to you. But you can't receive this energy if you stay in a negative mode. So like some of my readers get confused that I predict or I say something is coming towards you. But you have to own your own shit too. Because if you stay in a negative mode, if you keep thinking negative, if you self-sabotage, if you um, ignore and offer opportunity that comes to you, then can't blame me that you didn't get what you were supposed to get. Because you're the one that's not helping to work toward it. Nothing is going to fall directly into your lap. <clears throat> Everything takes effort and energy. There is the, the uh, uh, challenges also that some of you Virgos are facing that has to do with your finances, yes, and with work. I do feel like a lot of you either are robbing Peter to pay Paul, so to speak, or a lot of you are stretching something to the limit. Please don't overdo whatever it is that you're doing because I feel like there is definitely um, a financial struggle here, so to speak. I do feel like there is going to be um, a lack of finances for a little while. It... It almost seems like Virgos are trying to separate certain bills or certain uh, financial things that you're obligated to and, and trying to, you know, pay one so much but ignore some others. Don't do that. Some of you Virgos are totally destroying your credit. You need to fix something. You need to change something. Um, some of you Virgos, where credit is concerned... I don't know if you're receiving a credit report or you're trying to obtain a free credit report um, so that you can uh, make some changes, which is a good thing. You are going to have to struggle for a little bit, Virgo. Um, you're going to have to struggle for a little bit where your finances are concerned, but you're going to be able to get them much better than they've ever been for a while uh, very soon if you stay strict to the protocol, if you stay strict to the guidelines, okay? Um, for some of you, Virgos... 
I, I feel like you're still focused on the past because of the Five of Cups that came out for you. With the Five of Cups, it's telling me you're still looking at what you've lost rather than focusing on what you have and moving forward. Again, Virgo's got to get out of this, this guilty type of feeling, this um, negative energy. Virgos feel like they're, they're kind of stuck. Some of you Virgos may have just started a new job and things, you know, aren't exactly what you'd hope they'd be right now. But again, it is your mindset. Please, Virgos, do your meditations. Clear your energies, your chakras. Get things in balance. You can do it all free on YouTube. I tell you that all the time. Um, Virgos and a family member are going to have some type of arguments uh, or disagreements. And it is going to have to do with another family member. So whoever that's for. There is also somebody who has a roommate, a Virgo with a roommate. And with this roommate, things are not uh, going as well as they should. Somebody is not respecting boundaries, I feel, as well. Uh, there is going to be an opportunity for uh, someone's taking pictures. Either you're posing for pictures or you're taking pictures. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. It also feels like with Virgos, uh, yes, photography... Photography seems to be uh, very strong for Virgos, and I don't know why, but something with photography. So either you're <coughs> in pictures or <coughs> you're taking pictures. <coughs> <coughs> oh, my allergies are so terrible in the morning, so terrible. But anyway, I wanted to wake up and do your Virgo, so let me just see. Um, also, Virgos, be careful with whatever medications that you're taking. Uh, some of you are uh, mixing certain herbal medicines with your regular prescription drugs. Sometimes that creates a, a ill effect. So be very careful. Some of you Virgos may be having stomach issues and digestive issues right now. Uh, be very careful with that. Make sure you're taking your probiotics every day. Uh, for the other Virgos who um, keep listening to what a friend has to say, somebody keeps whispering pretty much in your ear. And the reason I know that is having to do with the Nine of Pentacles. So, with the Nine of Pentacles, that shows me that somebody is coming to you with messages or somebody is coming to you with gossip. Please know that, remember that, if somebody's coming to you and talking about somebody else, then I guarantee that same person is talking to somebody else about you. So, be careful. Be careful. Um, there is balance and opportunity, though, um, where love is concerned with Virgos right now, I do feel like uh, there is going to be some type of interaction and even um, uh, love on the horizon as well. But something that you've been wanting to have, an experience you've been wanting to feel, is going to be right there at your fingertips. But again, if you don't go toward the opportunity, if you don't accept the offers, then don't expect to have that. Simple as that. Okay, Virgos, Virgos, what does the number 10 mean to you, Virgos? What does the number 10 mean to you, Virgos? Because 10 keeps coming out very strong. Is 10 October? Or is 10 something to do um, with a birthday? Is it an anniversary? Is it the day you started your job? Is it the day you met your boyfriend or girlfriend? I don't know what that is. But after I got the 10 number, I get the Four of Cups. Okay, so somebody's going to be offering a cup of love. Or this 10 may be significant to you about your partner. Also, um, I'm getting the initials F. And I'm getting initial J, and then I also get the the initial W and S. So I don't know what those initials are, but if that relates to anybody, uh, the message is that somebody is going to be contacting you, and somebody's wanting to fix something. So whoever that's for. Um, I also feel like there's going to be justice in a situation. Um, when you've gotten to the point where you feel that somebody, you know, is, is definitely owed their karma, because, you know, everything that they've done to, to everybody else, which is not good, not positive. But I feel like you're going to finally see someone reap what they sowed. Somebody's going to pay the price for something that they did. So I do feel like that is going to be um, vibrant, almost like the color red I see, almost like seeing the color red. But I do feel like things are going to be uh, adjusted in a certain way and things are going to... Um, come out the way you expected them to. I think that some of you are really uh, tired of having to put up with certain nonsense in a situation, having to put up with the fact that somebody's not meeting you halfway on something, somebody's not trying to 
uh, bring things to full light. So, so whatever that is, somebody's trying to like not own their own shit. Okay, Virgos. But there has been um, speculations of things going um, not not quite the way you'd seen. Uh, some things um, have been put in front of you that somebody was downright rude or ignorant to you, disrespectful, or somebody was, you know, not sticking up for you, maybe in front of a family member, whoever was going through that particular situation, you are much better off without this other person. So um, be aware of that, that things are going to show you, or life is going to show you the blessings that you're going to get from being away from this one partner who has been quite disrespectful. So just be aware of that. But I do feel like... Um, for a lot of you single Virgos, there is going to be a new love opportunity, and that's going to come in before June. You're going to have the offer or, the or again, the opportunity, I love that word, uh, to expand, to not be the hermit, to not stay home stuck anymore. So I do feel like you're going to be very happy coming up very soon. But remember that it's not going to be you uh, in a relationship that is creating your happiness. It is the way you choose to live is what will give the happiness that you deserve. So, uh, Virgos, for, again, for the month of April, there is a lot of change. Some of you, a lot of new beginnings. Some of you are getting fresh starts. Some of you uh, are on a short journey, maybe somewhere, or going to take a trip somewhere for something very short, either two days or five days. Um, but it does feel like uh, a lot of you, too, are including family in certain uh, situations or scenarios. So now family is coming through. But there is arguments between you and a family member, whoever this is for, and, you know, you're going to have to say what you feel. and But be careful the way you choose your words because some words can't be taken back. So be really careful with how you choose your words for a particular family, for a particular family member. Okay? So with that being said, this is uh, Virgo right now for April. I will hopefully be either doing a mid-month or uh, getting the uh, maze out early. So looking forward to that. If you are interested in a reading... Please contact me at Alonza's Girl, A L O N Z A S G R L at AOL.com and send me an email. Let me know you're interested in the reading. I have a 30 minute reading, which is right now a special for $150. I also have an hour reading, uh, which is uh, $300. Or I have a um, mini read, uh, which I'm offering which is only, it's a roughly about a 15-minute reading, and that, that reading is for uh, $95. So uh, let me know what you're interested in, and we could talk then. Thank you so much, and have a great day.